don't pay the debt collectors, which by the way, to the audience, you should never pay a debt collector because the debt doesn't belong to you. It belongs to the debt collector. Exactly. Let okay. me explain this to you. If I owe Amex $1,000 and I say, I refuse to pay you, right? And they sell my debt to ABC Debt Collections Company, LLC. The debt doesn't belong to James Jang anymore. The debt belongs to ABC Debt Collectors. Why should I pay a debt that doesn't even belong to me anymore? Most people get scared because debt collectors, if you don't pay, we're going to garnish your way. They get scared. No, it's against the fair debt collection practices. You don't have to pay debt collectors. You oh, are stupid. The debt gets assigned to the collection agency. That doesn't mean they owe it. That means they have the right to collect it from the person who actually owes it, which is the person who opened the account in the first place. And if that debt is still within the statute of limitation, there is a good chance the collection agency collecting it has a law firm or it's a law firm or is a law firm and they count on people not responding so they get a default judgment against them this information that you're putting out there is going to hurt somebody okay and as far as the fdcpa violation that they are in violation of fdcpa as long as it's within the statute of limitation they have the intentions of suing your ass they can sue you man and if you don't respond to them, they will just get a default judgment against you. I don't say pay, I say fight. But don't lie for likes.